Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to get started on an A1707 that's not charging. First thing we're going to do before we get started on this machine is remove the coronavirus from it. Through alcohol. Die, corona. Die. 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 This MacBook is going to have its corona removed. Okay. Let's open this MacBook up and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it and make it work again. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Okay. So, when I take a look at this MacBook, the first thing I notice, it gives me the battery indicator. So it has the capability to make an image, but I just don't think it's charging the battery. Let's see if that's the case. See how we can solve it. See if we can make this work again. Make this into a happy, happy MacBook. All right, let's unplug this. Lewis helped Tronics fix with CD3215 and Steve bought another Smash MacBook. I don't remember helping Tronics fix. I've heard of his channel. He's the guy that does a lot of the Playstations and Switches and all that. And he's commented on one of my videos. But outside of that, I don't have a relationship with him. Can you... Perhaps something's mistaken here. Petition for Copaz to stop donating a salary. Yes, please. James, you've given me enough money. Stop that. And Copaz. Oh, I did comment. Whoops. W what video? Uh, can you link me to the video here? If it won't let you post the URL, can you just put the last few numbers of the URL, like the you know the YouTube video ID or whatever? I'm curious. Seems like a nice enough guy. He's getting, what's cool about what Tronics Fix is doing is he's getting normal everyday people to find detective repair work fun and worth doing. And that's the real right to repair. The real right to repair is getting people to find what we do fun, entertaining, worthwhile, engaging. Ew, there's a lot of hair inside this machine. Why is there so much hair inside this computer? All right, that's... All right, so here we got the board. Okay, so what's the first thing we usually check if we got a machine that's not charging? Well, that's a great question. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this in and see what it's taking on my USB-C amp meter. 5 volts, 27 milliamps, and then it turns off. Twenty two milliamps, five volts, it's stuck. Now the first thing I like to do is look around the board and see if there's any corrosion, because corrosion is gonna be something that gives me a very plain, immediate, obvious idea of what I should spend my time and focus on. So let's switch over to the microscope camera and see what's going on on this MacBook. Ready? Well then, 
Here we have a CD3215 chip. First thing we're going to do before we get fully started is unplug, unscrew this charge port over here because I don't want to actually melt it off of the board with heat. I'm just going to unscrew that here. Now, we may have to replace the chip, but I'm going to make a bet that we may be able to make this work again with nothing other than a simple reflow using some beautiful Amtec Flux. Some beautiful, beautiful Amtec Flux. I don't have a stencil for a CD3215 here. I think the other people here do, but I don't. I don't have a stencil here for that. So we're going to use the proper amount of flux. James, are you watching? I just want to make sure if you're getting into the craft that you're using the proper amount of flux. Yes. Yes! Now you see how the picture's kind of dark? Even though the exposure's all the way up, by tomorrow, I'm gonna have that new microscope light here. I'm excited for that new microscope light. 150 watt microscope light. That's gonna be sweet. I'm really curious to see what the image is like when I can lower the ISO and the exposure on the camera. Oh, it's gonna be a sweet, sweet picture. Now we're going to give the board a moment to cool using rapid cool technology. Rapidly cool. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, you piece of. Let's see, 5 volts, 80 milliamps. So we have some minor change, but it's still not solved. Oh wait, it is! 19 volts, two, 20 milliamps. Come on, give me an amp. Give me an amp. Give me an amp! Amp? Oh, 800 milliamps is not an amp. Come on. Eight hundred seventy milliamps is close to an amp. Let's see if it boots now. So let's see if we get a picture here, and if we do, this machine will go to the off to the ultrasonic cleaner, and then it'll be good to go. It'll be a MacBook. So I've noticed if I keep my desk perfectly clean over here, I can w I don't have to worry about getting flux or anything on my mat. I can just keep the desk clean and free of debris. There's dog hair inside the screen connector here. 
Show me picture. Show me sign of life. Come on, little MacBook. Come on, little MacBook. Okay, low battery. It wants to see the battery before it turns on. It's being a sissy. Fine. Fine, we'll plug your battery in, you little mofo. Do I need to slide the board over a little? I think I do. Say, ah, uh, say, ah, uh, feel like a freaking dentist. Say, ah, uh, say, ah. Uh. These charge ports are annoying how easily they come off. 1.2 amps. Let's see what we get. All right, so it's taking 2.8 amps which I imagine means that it's charging. The battery is now plugged in. And it does say here on my USB-C amp meter. Two point nine amps. Trying to keep that damn cable from running away. See, two point nine amps. So it is charging the battery. Remember, before it was complaining about the battery not being charged. Now, we need to plug the power cable in so that I can tell it to turn on. Yep. Turn on, you piece of shit. Let's try this again. All right, the battery's totally dead, so it's probably going to be a little bit before it turns on. This is where I decide to see how the camera mounting outside is going and also perhaps treat myself to a burrito. Yeah, keep complaining about the battery, you piece of shit. I want you to think about that. Like, you could have a PC that's at 1% battery, you plug it in, you could turn it on. MacBook, dead battery, can't turn it on. So why are you only charging at 1 amp? Hmm. Let's try a charge port on the other side that was not corroded. I'm going to take a look at what's going on outside. Oh! Wait, look, there's an Apple logo. It's starting. So that's about it. Uh, it's charging. Well, all we did is we reflowed the chip responsible for charging. We're going to ultrasonic the board, and that should be it. Unfortunately, I have to attend to a very unpleasant business matter, so I will be on later. I'll see you all in the next video.